uh, well I thought I'll just make a small video on uh, how to carry out DMDX because uh, it is not something that can be easily explained in writing because it needs a little bit of manual uh, syntaxing uh, so again since I do not know what exactly your task is and what exactly you want to do with DMDX I will just give you a small briefing on the very basics of DMDX which I believe can help you uh, program it or write the syntax by your own but in any case if you still feel that you have any difficulties you can feel free to contact me so as of now you can see here that I have this folder named new folder 2 on the desktop so these are the file items that are present within this folder what you must always remember is that for the first thing the DMDX syntax which is written in the word file and is named in an RTF format as you can see here RTF this and all the stimulus that you're using may it be uh, image files or audio files or video clippings whatever stimulus that you're using it has to be in the same folder so you can see that I've put the syntax and uh, the uh, stimulus that I'm going to use which is an audio file here and a picture file over here all are in the same folder so that is the first thing you must remember while carrying out DMDX so the picture file that I'll be using is this one which is a picture of a lady tailoring and the audio file will be this one I'll just play it for you sorry for that interruption uh, so those are the two files that I'll be using now I'm opening the syntax file here in which I'll give you an idea of how to uh, add an audio file to be presented through DMDX this is the syntax file which I have named Rohini RTF uh, you've told me that uh, your images or picture files are working fine so I believe that um, all your uh, programming in terms of display and sound should be working perfectly fine uh, but yet just to give you a brief idea in case you do not know I am just telling you this uh, the the portion that I have selected over here that is T3500 that stands for the inter display inter stimulus time display so uh, that, that means suppose you are displaying one picture and uh, again you are displaying another picture after that 3500 over here stands for 3500 milliseconds or 3.5 seconds which would be the time uh, taken between two different stimulus so uh, as you can see over here I've programmed two stimulus over here one is the picture file which is in JPG format and the second one is the audio file which is in WAV wave format uh, also remember uh, that uh, DMDX I believe will support only WAV formats in case of uh, audio files so as long as your uh, audio files are in wave format there's nothing to worry about uh, the second thing you must remember is that the name of the form uh, of the file that you have typed in should match with the name that is written uh, or given for the actual file name the file name that I've given is Don D O N in capital letters and again here in the syntax file also uh, the file name is given as DON in capital letters as long as it does not match it is not going to work so if it is written in capital letters if it is written in small letters if there is a space between the file name whatever it may be it should be written exactly in the same manner for it to work and now again uh, the file that I played was around uh, 12 seconds so this time over here 3500 is the time for which the stimulus will be presented so the stimulus is actually of 12 seconds now if I give a time frame of 3500 seconds over here it, uh, the 12 second audio file will be played only for 3.5 seconds so I need to increase it by some more uh, to make it uh, 12, 13, ok let's give it as 13,000 milliseconds so that makes it 13 seconds now 13 seconds would mean uh, that the audio file can be played wholly so I hope you make a note of this uh, syntax and I believe that you have done it fine because your visual file seems to be working fine so here 
the first picture file V2 that is a uh, picture of the lady tailoring will be presented for 3500 milliseconds after again a gap of 3500 milliseconds which is this portion that I mentioned the wave file uh, that I made you here would be played and finally it would end with a message saying thank you uh, so this is basically what uh, the DMDX is supposed to do and again this portion over here the 1366768 it refers to the properties of your computer's resolution unless and until the resolution of the computer the resolution set within time dx software and the resolution mentioned in the syntax file don't match with each other there will always going to be an error but again i presume that since your visual files are working fine your resolution would also be set now i'll give you a demonstration of how this would sound in dmdx let's give save because i changed the time Yeah, so here you can see that DMDX is open. Now as you can see here, I've already selected Rohani RTF. Uh, but in case just to show you, you can click browse, go to the particular folder in which you have placed the uh, syntax file, select that syntax and click open. Once that is done, this will be displayed over here. So before you run the actual pro program, you can do a syntax check. The syntax check will uh, check the RTF file or the word file to see whether there would be any error uh, in case of running. So if there is an error, they will show you that and based on the message that they give you in the error, you can make out where your syntax has gone wrong. So well, we don't have any errors. Uh, it's played fine. If there was an error, there would have been a dialog box coming up somewhere here saying there is an error. Now I'll give you an example of how it would sound or how my syntax would uh, be displayed in DMDX. Let's click run. Mm, we have to press spacebar to start because that's how I've given it. That's a picture of the lady. So that's how it would sound on DMDX. Now there are various things that you can do with DMDX. You can either make uh, the uh, uh, the the sound uh, overlap with the picture, or uh, you can give two three pictures at the same time. But all of it needs a little bit of tweaking in the syntax, a little bit of changes in the syntax. So if you can again give me a a, a detailed description of what exactly your task is. I can maybe help you out but I hope this does help you and uh, so well this would be the file uh, which is in ASK, AZK format which would be giving you your result so in my case it would be the response time which I am considering so if you click open you can see the result and this is supposed to be giving you the values but since I did not make a verbal response uh, which would be only recorded by a mic the value is 3500 which is default if I had made a verbal response it would have displayed at what level I had, or what time I had made the verbal response so that basically is DMDX in a jiffy I hope this has helped you and all the best with your work